Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Today we have a variety of phone cases to test for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And also I've been sent a phone case as well. So I wanna compare all of these phone cases I have to this phone case I was sent by Zero Wireless. Um, yeah, so it's not paid or anything. It's just uh, a little, little review of their product. See if I like it, if it's actually useful. All right, so here we have it. No, these are removable logos, stickers. Yeah, I'm not gonna need that. So let's have a look at this. So we've got this case from Zero Wireless. It's actually quite protective actually. See that there's like ridges on the side to protect it. And the main thing about this case is this flip flip out thing. I'm not really sure. So if you just alright, like that. Okay. To be fair, it feels solid-ish. Um I'll be honest, it's gonna be interesting to see how this holds up in terms of, you know, if you keep opening it and closing it, opening it, closing it, you're gonna do that those different times. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that keeps up. It does supposedly work with MagSafe, so if you needed to attach it on the back, apparently it should work, but now that I have to attach this, it's actually stuck to it. So, so yeah, easy enough to remove. So I'll quickly just put it on the case and oh, I have to say, I really like the way it feels in the hands. Um, definitely looks like it's gonna give you protection. You can see there's a big ridges here on the camera bumps. And I don't know, I guess this feature, in theory anyway, should be useful, right? Being able to kind of prop things down. Should in theory be useful. Um, I mean, it's not really something I do, but maybe now I have it, I will try. But let's just quickly run through comparison. So let me say, tell you my favorite case, actually. You know, honestly, my favorite case is actually this one. Um, that's one of my favorite cases. It was from a company called TAC. And I liked it because it's like super thin and it feels really nice in your hand. But I'm, I'm actually quite surprised because like this one feels quite similar in terms of the texture in your hand, so I like that. Uh, this is thinner, for sure, but with that comes some issues, obviously, because you can see here, it's kind of broken off already. Uh, it took some time, but it broke off. I've done some reviews on this already. Uh, but it does feel really like really super like ultra thin it feels really nice um, almost like you don't have a case um, but yeah in terms of the protection it's questionable it's not really the best I, if you get this i'll definitely have a screen a screen a screen protector um now this is from the apple store right this is the apple's leather case and this is the one i've been using recently and i have to say I'm quite disappointed with it, to be honest, because you can kind of see here, it's like flaring out. See that? Look how bad that looks. This is like only a couple, well, maybe not a couple months, a bit more than a couple months, but this is a few months. You know, I thought it would kind of wear and tear and then start looking nice, but it just, it's just wearing, it's just wearing and tearing. It's not really looking much nicer. And the level of protection it gives, it's not amazing, to be honest. So yeah, this, you're just paying for the logo here. Um, yeah, I was quite disappointed with this one, to be honest. Uh, this one is similar to this one, TAC, but this, uh, this is for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, um, or 13, no, iPhone 12, iPhone 12. Uh, so it, it should fit, but you know, it's here for argument's sake. So this is from ESR. I actually don't mind this case. I don't really like the way it feels. It doesn't feel as nice as this case, this uh, zero wireless case, or this one. 
And obviously this is an older um, ESR case and you can see how it's discolored massively. To be fair to this one, it hasn't discolored. I, don't, I didn't use it as much though. So maybe it would if, we, if I used it more. But yeah, in any case, I didn't use it as much. But it's a decent case because it does give you protection and it has a big MagSafe um, thing on the back which helps to really stick on to um, the MagSafe connectors. Is this random one? I actually don't know where I got this from to be honest. It's just here, I don't really don't know where I got this from. This one feels all right, I mean, to be fair. It feels decent in your hand. It's a bit bubbly on the side, so some issues here, but you know, it's decent. It's decent, some little bit of ridge um, protection. But yeah, like I said, it's kind of bubbly on the sides here, so looks a bit weird. But it does feel all right in your hand. I don't know what company this is, but I think, if I had to guess, I think it might be Ilago, but that's just a guess. Not sure who that is. No, I'm sorry, what company that um, made it. Let me show how I got it to be honest. This is another one by TAC. It's a black version. Again, I like how thin this is, but if you look here, this is peeled off, so I stopped using it. So overall, I have to say, kind of comparing all these things together, this is a nice mixture between this one from ESR and then this one from TAC. So this one, and of course it has this little flat thing, which I'm gonna explore, see how often I use that. But actually, I might actually try and give it a good try. Try it out for um, a couple weeks because like I said, it does feel good in the hands. It has good protection like this one. Um, should work with MagSafe. You know, we might actually be able to test that. So let's see if it does work with MagSafe. Push this here, and then, yep. So it also works in MagSafe as well, which is decent. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna give this a go because I like the feeling of this, protection of this, and then it has this little, obviously, feature, which, yeah, like I said, can be quite useful. But yeah, again, Apple, super disappointing. I think I actually have to yeah, we might have to get rid of this one. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very disappointing, Apple. Very, very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Like I said, decent. I'll say really good, actually, so far. Obviously, these things, wear and tear is a big one because, you know, when I first reviewed this, I gave it excellent reviews because it, I really liked how thin it was, how nice it felt in your hand. Um, but then, obviously, it did rip off a little bit. But well, to be fair to the guys at TAC, they did say that if you call them or get into contact with them, they will replace it for free. So if that's still happening and you have any issues, you can replace that one. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be using this one by Zero Wireless for the next couple of weeks and see if I continue. But yeah, so far, so good. Actually even looks all right with the blue silver trim type thing. But yeah, the only thing, my, only thing I worry about is just this hinge because I mean, realistically, is it gonna last <laughs> more than a couple months of opening and closing it? We'll find out. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next one.